Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Now, you remember earlier on this year when I said I might have a few new series popping up now and then? Well, this is one of those, or rather, it was going to be. However, I never actually got around to recording the audio for it because I always got ill and so on and so forth and my voice sounded terrible. But now I'm doing it, and hopefully it should be up within the week. Um, now this little series, my friends, is called Let's Build a Kingdom. And it's basically me building a bunch of structures in Minecraft from a third-person perspective, and in time-lapse. Each episode is going to be about 20 minutes long and so on, and it's all going to be time-lapse, so what you've seen me building here, it, the whole episode will basically have taken two to four hours to actually film, but then in the editing I've basically squashed it all down and stuck it into a big pot and then made it shorter. That's one way of describing it. Anyway, so what you're seeing me doing here is building the main wall of the city, which is planned for the next few episodes of this. Now, I might have these episodes coming out every week or so. I'm not sure yet, but don't quote me on that because these episodes actually take a lot of editing to do. Now what you've seen me do here is the main wall, and the main wall is actually quite nice because it's got arches that come out the front, and behind those are diorite from uh, 1.8, because we're building this in 1.8, and I'm using the replay mod to record this whole thing. I would have used the Cam Studio mod, however, it sort of corrupts the footage that it takes if you're not using a, another person to record it. Bit weird, but we'll work with it. Also, the replay mod allows you to sort of edit your whole time lapse from different perspectives after you've done it, which is actually really good. So, here you see me, you've built, I've built the entire wall, and I've added some towers along it, and. Well, you'll see more of that in a bit. Um, I won't spoil it uh, yet. Well, it won't be really be spoilers if I'm telling you about it while it's been happening. Also, as you can see, I removed the entire floor from the walls because I noticed that it was just one block too high. As usual, as any builder will know, if there's one thing that bothers them about the build, and it's going on through the entire build, they're still going to change it. So I did. Now as we pan up around this tower here, you'll notice that I've started changing up the walls and stuff. Now this is because I wanted to do something different, because this is the tower on the end of the wall, and there's not going to be anything attached to the other side of the tower. So I went around, I I experimented with a few window designs and finally settled on something. I did the floor, I added uh, another layer or so. Now, if you can't tell, this city is going to be by the sea, because there is in fact a sea uh, just behind, yeah, just there, uh, just to the side. Now, what I'm actually doing with this tower is, I'm turning it into a lighthouse. And I was indecisive about the patterns that I wanted to use. So I decided to go for a few different ones. So I added a small inclinations and small crenellations just underneath the windows. I added the lamp at the top with the glass and stuff. And I did my usual peaked roof that everyone always sees in any of my builds, really. Uh, so, you'll see me build that in a minute, don't worry. Uh, then I added a few arches on top of where the windows are going. And I added some lighting, and so on and so forth. So this is going to be the main lighthouse for my city. Um, what else was there? Oh yes, 
I also patterned the walls of the lighthouse, and you'll see that in a minute as we slowly drift around the top. Um, don't worry, it's uh, not all this boring. If it was, I wouldn't be putting this on my channel, now would I? Uh, now, as you can see, there's a very large lake, technically the sea, behind the tower, the lighthouse. Um, but it's... You can see the shores on the other side. That's because I haven't finished it yet. I world edited, or not world edited, but I, um... I used World Painter in most of this, so I sort of experimented and diverged and created tons of different things. And then there used to be a whole swamp biome there, and I cleared that out with the snap of my fingers, as they say. Um, now, as we drift around here, you can see that I have started making a little cove. I'm going to expand on that at a later date. Uh, at the moment, I'm just filling in all the water that where it should be, because if I don't, then it looks terrible. But I'm just world editing chunks away, and maybe I'll uh, smooth it out later on at some point. But for now, it looks good. Now, as you can see, down the tower, I did actually put some lighting and some patterning. And I've used stone brick and spruce wood for most of this. As you guys know, this is my preferred building style. Um, and I like to use my spruce slabs and all that sort of thing to build all my creations. Um, or most of them, anyway. So, th since this is going to be a more medieval sort of city, this is what I decided to go with. And in my opinion, it looks fairly good. Uh, now, as we drift around, you can see me building a small harbour, sort of st a, a staircase down to the harbour, basically. And you can also see me patterning the walls on that. <laughs> oh dear, I've still got a cold. Um, so, I added a bit of patterns. I used some chiseled stone brick, and I added some lamps and redstone, and I actually had some obsidian behind that, just in case some pirates come and attack the harbour. And it may not look like much now, but it will be quite the sight later on. Now, as we finish that for now, I decided to start off on the town square, and I wanted some form of grand fountain in the middle with a sort of a compass-like setting for the four paths that come off it and so on. And I started making the paths and then I thought, my town, it needs a gate. I can't have a town without a gate. So I built a great big gate in the middle of my wall. And it is five wide, and it uses your average iron bars and so on. And as we lean over the gate, we can see me just zipping around everywhere. And now we drift over the gate and down, and you'll be able to see I've actually put in the road through the gate, I've cleared away some of the trees, and I have started work on the actual gate itself. As we drift down, it's got the iron bars and the nether brick fences in the middle. And for no reason, or at least no apparent reason to me, uh, although people actually do know this, because I was actually building this while I was chatting to some other people on Skype. I actually stuck a block of pink wool in the middle of that gate, even though you can't quite see it yet. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yes, I have no idea why I was doing that. Now, as we move all the way around, you can see the huge wall, and I've patterned it with pistons and diorite as well. Now we're going to start work on the actual palace gate. Because we've, we've got our average town gate, and it's, it's sort of a grand affair, but it's not by much. So, we, I decided 
I want I want some form of a castle, uh, something that can make me the ruler of this land, something that makes me makes me monarchy, as it were. <laughs> um, so I started off with the gate, and I decided to build the castle on top of a mountain because why not? I mean, who doesn't like a castle on top of one entire mountain? So, I built the gate, and it is enormous, absolutely humongous. Uh, so, as you can see, I zipped around, and I, I started building an archway, and then I built a bit more, and then I added towers, and so on and so forth. Oh, and there we go. Two towers to accentuate my gate. My great gate. Or as the Cornish would say in the play that I'm doing, a gate gate. <laughs> uh, now, what have we got? We have nether brick and your average iron bars on the inside of this great gate. Gate. Blah. It's a... Uh, ugh. Sorry. Great gate gate. Yeah. Anyway... <laughs> Um, yeah, we started um, building this, and I zipped around and I changed up a ton of stuff, and I added some stuff inside the grate, no, the gate, I'm sorry, my tongue's getting all twisted, um, and as we turn around here, you can see what the mostly finished gate looks like. And I've accentuated it with some gold and some redstone and I've added a few pistons and detailed it up a bit and on our next pass you'll probably be able to see the towers in their full glory hopefully ah no, now I'm doing the courtyard and the courtyard is very important uh, because without a courtyard where are you going to marshal your soldiers into place and so on no, no, no. It has to have a courtyard. Um, so, for the courtyard, I decided I want to make something a bit different and so on. But right now, I'm finishing off the towers, so I'll explain that first. Now, the towers are mirrored uh, by each other. So, I built one, and then I stood in the center of the gate, and I mirrored them over to the other side. Now, they use diagonal staircases inside so it's sort of like a spiral staircase and then they've got um, oh god what's the name I said it a minute ago oh yes iron bars as the windows and they've got torches lighting up the inside and they've got a central column for the soldiers that want to go up it and the gate itself actually has a small walkthrough in the middle and then sort of a uh, a platform on top of it for our soldiers if we get any I certainly hope we get some now as we go up here I can't remember because this was actually recorded about two months ago ladies and gentlemen and I am terrible with timing but it'll do it's fine it's fine absolutely fine I haven't lost any time at all um, but yes as we turn around here, you can see that I have started building a staircase up to the next level. Because I didn't really want to terraform the entire mountain. And it I did think about it, and admittedly I thought, eh, no. So, I built a staircase, and it's sort of a spirally staircase. It goes up to the next part of the mountain. And I used my normal materials. Um, and as we come through here, we see the staircases, oh dear, in their full glory. Uh, now, I wasn't too sure on the designs for these, actually, because they were actually quite difficult to do, because I couldn't figure out how to make them properly spiral, since it's in Minecraft, and there's not really any form of ramps or circles in this game other than your average stairs. Now I also built a nether portal 
in the middle of this, which actually looks fairly good. And I added some obsidian sort of carvings in the walls. Then I added some um, fountains. And as we come up here, we see the final path. And that's pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. So I thank you all very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy. And we shall see you all next time. Enjoy!